got as a need contained. Uh, at the, at the, that's, that's the first priority. How long can a scenario like well, well the, the general the general guide is that it's it's cordon contain and appeal. So in most situations you have a, a, a location where it's happened. The police surround the, the the area and they talk to the person concerned. But of course this one is very very different. Um, it's dynamic. There's a lot of people involved. Um, it's ongoing. We just it, it's you know the whole thing. The emotions are hyped. So, uh, um, a specific example of how this plays out operationally for police. We've got many staff being deployed. They'll be pulling in staff from right around the country to go to. Did this to happen in New Zealand? No. Um, we train for this. Police train for this, and I still go to the police college and, and teach and negotiate. Well, it's just draining on resources and draining on everyone's, I guess, um, ability to stay focused. So it will take some time. Uh... You just saw the forensics team head on and out of that other van there on that island. It's very quiet around here, much the same as where Lisa and Sam... I guess, uh, I mean, my heart goes out. I'm over the other side of the world and hearing this unfold, and um, would I be... We are currently dealing with an unprecedented situation in New Zealand. It's very grave, it's very serious. We have dealt with a active shooter situation. We have multiple fatalities. At this point, I can't say how many, but it is significant. Uh, they occurred in two locations, two mosques in Christchurch, one at Deans Avenue and one at Linwood Avenue. Our police have those uh, locations locked down. We have four people in custody.